Remember when the Fast and Furious series is more about the vroom vroom and not the We're way past that at this point. Hey, what's up, what's up guys? It's your boy Sky Cobras again and today, today, today I will be giving my very first movie review. And this movie is Hobbs and Shaw, the spin-off sequel to the Fast and Furious franchise. And I gotta tell you guys, the movie, it works. What it, it was a fun movie. I loved I loved the movie. It was great. The very the best thing that this movie has is the amazing pacing. We we give props to Endgame for being able to make a movie on a movie on a movie on a movie. And Hobbs and Shaw did something like that. The three acts in itself are like three different movies. London, Moscow, Samoan Isles. And it just works. This movie does not take a break. There's just no time out to this movie. The pacing is absolutely great. You say what you want to say about the Fast and the Furious franchise. That it's forgotten what it was. That it's just, it was a street racing movie. And now it's lost its soul. to like an over the top action series. But you can't deny that the Fast and Furious series is very, very entertaining. This movie is just super fun to watch. You can never get bored with this movie. Another thing about the movie is the undeniable chemistry between the two protagonists, Hobbs and Shaw. I mean, really, this is why we even have a movie in the first place. Because of the undeniable chemistry, the bromance is just truly there. It's what really carries this movie. You just love seeing Hobbs and Shaw just have this testosterone Super Bowl among each other that, oh, I'm gonna say one thing, then you're gonna say something, I'm gonna prove how badass I am, then I'm gonna prove how badass I am, bah, 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 bah. It was just very, very fun to watch. Another thing about this movie is the world building. They're really expanding the, the universe that the, the Fast and Furious series has in their movies. And this new bad organization, the Etion, et, is it, is it, Etion, Etino? Etneblang. It starts with the letter E. Basically like this uh, human evolution thing, you know, that sort of stuff. Ultron stuff, you know, oh, humans got to evolve. They were they were said to be a myth, and then this has been going on for... Since the last movie, we're like, you remember, we're like, Oh, Cypher, I never knew she existed. She's a myth. Turns out she was real. And now you got Etio, and it's like, oh, yeah, I've heard of them, you know? I thought they were a myth. And they're real. But the movie is telling you, BELIEVE IN MYTHS! I don't know if this will come as a spoiler alert. Ryan Reynolds and Kevin Hart are in this movie. And Kevin Hart is as Kevin Hart as you'd expect him to be. And Ryan Reynolds is as Deadpool as you'd expect him to be. They were just put on set and they weren't even given a script. They just talked. Every scene with them was hilarious. The villain, really, he really shines in this movie. Idris Elba, Heimdall himself, was great in this movie. He was laid back. He was funny. He was very cool. Oh my god. The trailer, you know, hyped him up as the Black Superman. He is the Black Superman. He is a beast. He is a tank. Certified unit. Remember when I said that Hobbs and Shaw's chemistry was great? Brixton and his motorcycle's chemistry. Those two together in the scene, in their any of their scenes, were just perfectly synced. Absolute harmony between them. He's not just the Black Superman, okay? He's the human Megatron. There was this one scene where he just slid in the road and it was something like a, out of a Transformers movie. It was like he was transforming from man and motorcycle to man cycle. That's disgusting, dude. Idris Elba. Of course, there are some bad things, you know. The movie's not really that perfect, you know. But there's just teeny teeny weeny ones. The dialogue. No, it's not really the strongest suit in the Fast and Furious series. There are some cheesy lines here and they are so cheesy. Also, um, I did not like that, um, you know, it seems to me that Hobbs and Shaw never seem to be in any form of danger in the entire movie. Maybe you can say that it's a testament to just, to just how badass they are, okay? But it, it comes off as annoying sometimes of how easy everything seems to be for them. It's like, imagine you playing with your bro and you, it's just playing a campaign and it's on easy mode the whole time through. Even though the stakes were really high, they were still able to make jokes, they were still laid back. When, when your characters aren't really shown that much uh, problem and trouble going through their conflicts, it just loses the effectiveness of the problem in the first place. You know? But other than that, yeah, it was just a great movie. Amazing pacing, amazing chemistry. At this point, really, I mean, from where this, from where the series is going with this, I mean, I'm not going to be surprised if the Fast and the Furious movie would take place in space. I, 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 would, I wouldn't be surprised, really, if you had Vin Diesel going around the the rings of Saturn 
okay the, the stop the bad guy everything is just insane everything is just over the top we're still watching because it's very fun and it's very entertaining so I, I think i would give this movie a solid 8 Ooh out of 10 wee. the soundtrack 10 out of 10 it's been your boy sky cobras thank you very much for watching the video just like share and subscribe and i'll see you again next time oh my god you know what idris elba you remember in the trailer when he was like i'm the black superman exponentially cooler when he says it in the movie I will be saying that line again and again and again for a long, long time. I'm the black Superman. I'm the black Superman. I'm the black Superman.